In this video, I'll show you our workaround to positioning subtitles or captions in Camtasia for Windows without the use of dynamic captions. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, here is the pain point. Let's assume you want to burn in subtitles to your video, uh, but you have lower third graphics. In Camtasia, if you use the standard captions and burn them into the video, they're going to obscure these lower third graphics which is not the desired effect. Let's assume you want your caption to be up here. Then this is where the method we are going to use comes in. Quick backstory. I've done a couple of videos before uh, showing a workaround to positioning subtitles and captions uh, from Camtasia project. Now in this particular one, I used IG sub and Handbrake. IG sub to reposition and uh, Handbrake to burn in the subtitles. Now. For this particular one, we're going to be using Camtasia to create our subtitles or more or less import and then do some little configurations. And then we're going to use subtitle edit to generate a transparent video that we can use the subtitles uh, in. Uh, so I talked about this uh, three years ago and also I talked about all the key features I wish Camtasia had. And like around here, we have the Camtasia interface improvements. Now, unfortunately, the Camtasia interface improvements have not been deployed, uh, so it's difficult without using dynamic captions. But let's assume you don't want to use dynamic captions. They should make it easy to reposition subtitles or captions if you want to burn them into the video super, super simply inside Camtasia. Now, so I have my video ready, and my assumption is you're already done making your edits to your video and you've just added your captions. So for this one, I'll go to more captions and there are a bunch of options. You can manually type out your captions or you can click on this gear icon. And I wish it was a little bit more visible, uh, like an advanced menu or something, but most of the times people don't see this particular gear icon. So there's an option to sync captions where you can actually paste in your transcript. And once you do that, what happens? You can just click when you hear uh, the particular section uh, mentioned in the video and Camtasia is going to cut your captions the way you want it to be. We have the option to import captions. If you're done creating captions, you can also export captions. And then we have a new speech to text feature powered by AI. I'm not sure exactly which AI it is, but for this video, let's import captions. And then let's go to this one. Click on open. And there we have our captions. And the first problem I've always had with this is that if you see this right here, it comes up in your face. Like literally, you cannot see what you want to see. So even if I pull it down, you'll not be able to see the captions here. So let's come to this one. If I click outside, that's when you're able to see the captions that you want to work with. If you click on it, it's impossible. And I wish they borrowed from Camtasia 8 and I'll show you. In Camtasia 8, you'd be able to see what's going on as you work. So for example, if I just type out anything here, you would be able to see it in real time right inside here. But now, because that is not available at the time of writing this, what I'd highly recommend is they still keep the Camtasia uh, 8 more or less uh, settings here where you could type out on the side and all these other options here. But for the properties on this side, uh, these properties down here, and also properties for repositioning the subtitles. For example, if I want the subtitle up here, it's not possible to do that in Camtasia as it is. And that's why we are doing this video, because for this section here, you can see that the lower third graphic, if I turn it off, it's conflicting with the captions that we're going to burn into a video. So what I'd prefer in this scenario is for our captions here to be somewhere up here, which is not possible, but I'll show you how to do it. Now, let's do this. So we already know this is what we want to work with. And uh, this is Descript's eye contact feature and also welcome to this video. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to, uh, to uh, the settings here inside captions, export captions, sample and once i do that 
I'll open up subtitle edit and a subtitle edit. I'm using the beta version because the option to generate subtitles uh, with a transparent background uh, was only made available a couple of days ago. So I'm using the beta version. Now I'll open up my video. It's clip three. And then I'm going to open up my subtitle sample. There we have it. And I want to make sure that these particular captions describes eye contact feature. This one is up here. So in subtitle edit, all you need to do is just right click alignment top center and you have it up here. And then we also have this one. Welcome to this video alignment top center. So if I actually just double click on this, uh, welcome, and it should have, yeah, it's up there now. Everything is ready as we want it. Now, here's the cool part. I can just select this particular subtitle here and this one down here. Just click on one, press on control, click on the other. Once I make that selection, I can come to video, generate transparent video with subtitles. I'll click on that. And from here, you'll need to make some few adjustments to kind of replicate what we have in Camtasia so that the font is the same the color, the outline, whatever, because we're burning in the subtitles to the video. So I'll click on Camtasia and just click on any subtitle. And from this drop down, you can check the different properties. So uh, they're using font Arial, color white, and the size is 64. Uh, the fill is for the background, so we're not doing that. And then you can look at how they've set the alignment and so on and so forth. Uh, everything looks okay. Uh, there's no issue there. So make sure that inside here the font size is 64 depending on whatever font size you have over there uh, and all other the font family and so on and so forth because we have uh, our number of lines as selected lines only we can now click on generate and once we do that we're going to generate our video uh, sample transparent whatever and then click on save let's open containing folder I just double click on it you see the scripts eye contact feature is above there and then welcome to this video now super simple but I believe I made a mistake I didn't make a mistake I've converted it to mp4 the mp4 file will not be accepted in Camtasia so we need to go back generate and from here Let's convert it to, a, to an MOV. Click on save. There we go. That's okay. Now we're done inside subtitle edit. Uh, what we just did in subtitle edit is just make the positions of the subtitles to be up here and also now generated the transparent video with subtitles. Let's go back to Camtasia. And yeah, everything looks good uh, right there. Now let's go to media import media and we're going to for the MOV version if I click on the mp4 and I actually just add it to the timeline nothing seems to be happening but let's go with uh, let's go with the, with the MOV version MOV just click on open because it's more or less a big file It's going to be a proxy but let's cancel the proxy delete proxy video because uh, it's blurring uh, the subtitles a little bit let's bring this right inside here and then we can play this in this tutorial I'll show you how to use the scripts now you see we have the subtitles up there so what we are now going to do is just come in here split this and delete that, that particular section. So this is what happens now. You can now see your lower third graphics and the subtitles up there. Super simple. Eye contact feature to simulate eye contact with. And the same applies to this other section. Let's come here, split, come here, Split and delete. And if you play this, 
Welcome to this video. And we now have the subtitles up there. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, it's super, super simple to do this. We're using transparent video uh, MOV generated in subtitle edit to do this. And that's the workaround for this. I wish it was way, way simpler to actually just select your subtitle or caption here, be able to type out whatever you want on this side, actually be able to fold out or just literally just work here and then type in here, see what you're working on in the video, like we see right now, and then change different properties here, like, like the positioning and so on and so forth. Uh, because that would be really, really uh, important to have right Eye inside here. To the camera, even when you're reading from a script. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope it, it would be really, really awesome. But that is a workaround, especially if you want to burn in uh, the subtitles to the video. Once you're done, you can burn in the subtitles, render with video, open, always visible captions. That's okay. Encoding. Uh, yeah, file name, just export. Your video contains the following features, not supported by selected file format. Uh -huh. To export format. Mm -hmm. I just want them banned in. Yeah. There we go. Let's view media. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the scripts icon. You can see subtitles up there. Contact feature to simulate eye contact with the camera even when you're reading from a script. Welcome to this. And then it goes up there and there's no obscuring the lower third video. graphics. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Yeah, so uh, that is another workaround to this workaround I did a while back. If you wanted to just uh, ban in your subtitles using Camtasia or use the Camtasia workflow. But that is how you can uh, reposition or position subtitles that will uh, obscure lower third graphics or any text uh, in subtitle edit and then generate video with transparent subs uh, so that uh, you can use it in uh, Camtasia 2024. I hope this video is of value to you. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.